Hi everyone, this is our Hawaiian volcano summary for December 5th, 2024. Kilauea's earthquake rates have steadily increased over the last two weeks to where now they're about double what they were two weeks ago at the start of the month. These earthquakes have occurred mainly underneath the summit and upper east rift connector, but more so in the middle east rift near the recent eruption site at Nepal crater from September earlier this year. We have had other earthquakes in the area, including a deep one in between Mauna Loa and Kilauea, down at the base of the volcano, the base of the island, in fact. And a deep earthquake still continue from Pahala as magma feeds into the area. And we also are seeing adjustments underneath Kilauea itself, all these blue dots visible right in here. So earthquakes are picking back up on Kilauea. Um, we have satellite images that show that the volcano is inflating largely in this area south of Caldera and in Caldera itself too. And our instruments on the ground are also reflecting that. So our tilt meter at the summit in blue here, it is showing inflation as the ground tilt is increasing. But the green line at Pu'u'u Crater is showing the opposite, a deflation. So the ground is deflating over there. In more detail in between, we have the Upper East Rift connector by the escape road here. This one is the green component that has been showing the signal of inflation of the recent reservoirs created by recent dikes in the last year. But further over to Pu'u'u Crater, that main component that shows what's nearby in a rift is decreasing, but it does pick up inflation from that eruption site to the west. So similar to what we've seen prior to the slowdown last month, um, overall on Kilauea summit, the caldera continues to expand north and south, getting wider as the volcano fills with magma underground and swells rising and spreading both. Down at the Middle East Rift Zone at Pu'u'u Crater, we see a much different effect. We see a lot more of an accordion reaction as the volcano is, is feeling the pressure from further away, moving a little bit, and then relaxing after those, those pulses of earthquakes occur and magma is able to redistribute within that East Rift Zone. So that's the story in Kilauea. It's building back up, but nothing is imminent yet. Uh, we will just keep an eye on Kilauea to see where this leads us. While I'm on Loa, it's been fairly quiet. This is a map of the earthquakes for the last week on Mauna Loa summit. And you see hardly any events at all. And the ones you do see are very small background events through here. If we look at the whole last year and examine depth versus time, we can see that most of our earthquakes are in that shallow part of the volcano. We are having a few deeper ones under Mauna Loa as well, but nothing quite the same as we saw earlier in the year where we saw clusters of deep earthquakes um, as we presume there's interaction of the volcano filling and magma feeding into it and the area below the summit. So that's the last year. For the last five years, it's much more clear that we have very much reduced earthquake rates today than we did prior to the eruption in 2022. So we're still in an expected recharge phase of the volcano with no surprises here. The typical pattern as expected. And at the summit of Mauna Loa, we can see that the volcano there is also still spreading, but at a slower rate here than it has in previous times. As we are celebrating the two year anniversary of Mauna Loa's main phase, it's worth remembering the impact that had on us two years ago. Here's an image from Harry Durgan of the flow over Hilo Bay. And just one short clip that I'll play here just to remind us of where we were two years ago. You can check our full update for more information on this 2022 anniversary. And that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.